What's going on, everybody? You are not tuning to another episode of Everyday Heroes, and we got real name Wayne, JB Written, Art of Dragons, and Jazz, the Queen Lion. That's on the show. And before we get into our topics, we got some exciting things coming to you. We got a raffle coming to you. We're gonna get a, a, a great ape hoodie. We're gonna go ahead and submit everything on our um, social media platforms and everything on how to enter and how to qualify. We're gonna get a great ape unisex hoodie, so it's for men and or women, and um, and you can get your size, um, your color, and we'll go ahead and ship it out to you once you qualify to be in this in this uh spin the wheel thing that we're doing. So. We're on all streaming platforms, Spotify, YouTube, iTunes, everything. Go ahead and look us up, Google us, and we are in the mix. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe when you do. So, without further ado, Jazz, how was your week? I'm going with the Leos first, me and her Leo. So, That's how was right. your week? It's her month. <laughs> my week has been great. It's uh-huh. been full of energy. I've been recommitting to my goals, so that's definitely exciting. It's the beginning of the month. Now is the time to plan. Now is the time to do it. It's 2020. No excuses. You heard? Anyway, I'm good. How are you, Wayne? Hey, everything's good. Everything's good. I never really go go in the beginning, so everything's good. How was your, <laughs> <laughs> how, was your uh, how was your week, uh, Aunt of Dragon? Um, productive. Very, very productive. It has been really a a day off so I'm lots lots of gratitude and I'm also trying to do time management all over again so it's been exciting you should look up Freemasonry they're they're really good at time management and stuff like that that's what they suppose or or I could use a fairy godmother either or true that (laughs) 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 how was your week oh me yeah I'm doing good I'm doing good uh (laughs) Hey, how do we win that jacket? I want to win. You want to win? Okay, so this is what you do, okay? So we're going to go ahead and make a post. And that post on Facebook, you're going to, or Twitter, uh, whatever platform that you're following us on, go ahead and share it. Once you share it, I will submit your name into that into the pinwheel. You're going to go ahead and spin it, and may the luckiest person win. We're going to stream that live to the whole pinwheel. Oh! How can I, like, I was- how can What's I rate up? the game? To, how can I rate the game so I can win? So uh, what you can do is uh, just share it more than one time, and <laughs> then uh, I'll enter your names multiple times. All right, <laughs> all right. Maybe Rick and gonna be in there. <laughs> all right, all right. So anyway, we got some interesting topics coming up for you guys, and I hope you guys are excited. Um, the topic that we're gonna pick right now that we're gonna talk about is that there's been a lot of things going on about. You know, this whole uh, pedophilia thing going on and this whole, you know, trying to make it normal, especially in Denver. I'm hearing about these things about about it being okay to date, you know, girls or I guess boys um, that are not, you know, older than 16. Um, So, uh, you know, in Florida right now, you know, well, the law that we looked up, me and JB looked up. It says that in Florida, you can date, you know, a 16-year-old as long as you're, you know, not any, anything older than 23. Um, Romeo and Juliet. Yes, Romeo and Juliet law. So technically, you know, um, you could if, if you were within that 40 age. Uh, North Carolina, you can date someone that's 16 without consent, I think it is, something like that. So mm-hmm. uh, my biggest question to everybody, how do y'all feel about this, right? And what age do you think? Uh, should be the age of consent. Let's go ahead and start off with with Jazz, the Queen Lioness, on this. <clears throat> what age should be given of consent? I am completely torn uh, <laughs> with this subject. I think, um, I guess, the most we can do is follow the the laws uh, that have been set for us, um, and. It, it depends on child and it depends on person. I really think that we focus too much on uh, keeping our kids away from relationships instead of showing them how to have healthy ones. And that's where the turmoil is really like, um, is, that's where it starts for me as well. Uh-huh. But um, I don't know. With my kids, they can't ever date. 
so. <laughs> okay. okay. I don't really have uh, much to say about that. Okay. All right. What about you, JB? How do you feel about this? Um, what age should be appropriate. <laughs> All right, when I think about it, <clears throat> um, I think I was talking to you earlier, Wenton, about it. I had a big argument about this topic in the military. All right, I, when I first got in the military, uh, every state is different. And I got here in North Carolina, and the guy said, it's legal to, to have sexual relations with a 16-year-old. Me being from Florida, I'm like, all right, your ass going to go to jail. You know what I mean? He's like, no, it's legal in here in North Carolina. And, he, and I looked it up, and he looked it up, and yeah, it was legal. Who would have known? You know what I mean? And for me, personally, I couldn't, even though it's legal, I couldn't. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't have sexual relationships or any type of relationships with anybody that I got to pick up from high school. You know what I mean? Like, that wouldn't even feel right. Hey, I'm finna get my girlfriend from high school. Uh, I don't even really want to go low as 19, 20. You know, that's really too young for me. You know, I'm realizing that I'm getting old and, you know, 21 and under is kind of young for me too as well. So, so, but what do I think is the legal age? My, my problem is when, hold on, let me get back. The problem is when I was having the argument with the guy is how do I tell him it's wrong when it's legal to do it? Right. You know what I mean? Like, I, you know, at that point, I just got to shut up because it's kind of like, yeah, he's right. It is legal. You know what I mean? So I can't. So if the whole world is telling him, well, not the whole world. If the world we in America is telling him is right, who am I to tell is wrong? So that's when I come up with the conclusion. It's up to the parents and it's up to that, you know, significant other that they have, you know, do, do I have a problem with it personally? Yeah, but who am I to have a problem with it? You know what I mean? Who am I to tell you you're not old enough if your parents or if you're if you are what if you, what you're around is telling you old enough? You know what I mean? So I really feel like uh, you know t we need to be taught until we at least 25. You know what I mean? I say that age, but you know some people might say that's a little too old. You know what I mean? Because you know, everybody get into relationships and have babies at a young age and you don't really learn, you know what I mean, or get to live your life. You know what I mean? Some people probably need a child to help them grow up, but I'd rather a person learn a different way, you know what I mean, learn a natural way. Um, so I say 25, uh, but it might be too old, you know what I mean? But it is the preference. I know in some states, you know who you're going to marry as soon as you come out the womb. You know what I mean? That's who you're going to marry, you know, and that's period. You know, by the time you're 12 years old, you married for the rest of your life. So I don't really know how to answer this question without being hard on one point. So I'm not trying to be hard, but that's that's where I feel with, with this. All right. All right. I like that one. I like that one. And uh, what, what about you, Aunt Dragons? What, what do you have to say about this? I've been deciding whether or not I would want to say this story or not, um, but I'm just going to say it anyway. So when I was 14, I dated a guy who was 26, and can you, can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so being in that relationship, I noticed there was a lot of grooming going on. And I realized that the reason why you're dating me, this 14-year-old, is because women your age don't want to deal with you because you lack the emotional maturity to grow up. You, you choose to stay in Never Never Land. Whenever I hear a guy, and I've had so many conversations with guys being like, oh, well, she looks grown, and she's really old for her age. And it's like, what you're basically saying is you want someone who is emotionally immature and matches your emotional intelligence. That's it. <laughs> you don't want the challenge of being a part of a mature relationship. Um, and I think we, we also neglect that. We often say that, okay, well, when, when I was that age, I was really mature. But also you have to look at 
times change. When, when my parents were growing up, my dad was seven, eight years older than my mother, whatever, you know, but that was because their times were so massively different for their times. It was like, get married or literally die, you know, like, like you, you need a partner in order to, to survive for us right now. We don't have necessarily that pressure. So what is the necessity to put an age limit on on dating, why can't we, like Jazz said, why can't we teach them an example, teach them in classrooms, the examples of healthy relationships, as opposed to being like, well, we have to make sure that we're protecting them from these people who who want to take advantage of them. Um, something, um, something else that you said, Jazz, was you said it depends on the child. Key word, depends on the child. There's still... <laughs> There's, there's still technically a kid. So how can we say that you're 16, now you can date a 30-year-old man? A 30-year-old man who's had X amount of years of, who knows how to manipulate someone. Oh, oh no, what happened? Something happened on the screen. Yeah, your, Did mic you guys block little, your mic is a little bit loud, I'm not sure. Oh, sorry, because I'm yelling, sorry. Okay. I'll talk softer. I apologize. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, because this is very personal for me. Because, like I, like I was saying, like the situation that I was in should never have happened. But that's that's a part of my fault. You know, it's a part of something that I'm trying to heal from. Um, and also with something that JB said, you know, it depends on the laws. You know, but there are a lot of laws that are legal right now that are still morally wrong. I think I saw something like last year or something that said that they made it legal in that particular county for blacks to vote because people just looked over it you know <laughs> like they were still low voting but they realized that oh they technically weren't allowed to but we're just gonna slide this in here you know there's still a lot of laws that you know i mean in general our whole rule book of our constitution is completely outdated so it's it's okay for us to look over those things and update them you know, they just made the legal smoking age to 21. That's fantastic. I su completely support it. You know? Um, okay, I think that's it. I think that's it. Sorry, okay. that was super long. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Um, you know what I'm saying? JB, you're on mute if you're saying something. Uh, JB always argues with, with me. No, no, no. I got a question for you, Ashley. You know what I mean? Um, you know, but I'll let you go ahead, Winton, before I ask that question. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, you guys took pretty much all the points I had. You know, um, you know, I, you know, there's only so much you can really say about this. You know, at the end of the day, I have to kind of agree with JB on this. It's like, um, you know, how can you really argue something that is that you know oh. that is legal? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, how can you really argue that? I mean, he's not killing anybody. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, yeah, he might be able to, like, like, like Ashley said, mentally control that person or whatever it is because they're younger, but it's technically not like putting a gun to their head and, and shooting them or, you know, threatening them with a knife or anything, you know? So it's like, there's bigger things, you know, the age of consent is 16. It's like at the end of the day, it depends on your household and if you want to if you want to allow that or not. Um, you know, at the end of the day, and it also depends on that child. You know, for me, I really wasn't ready to date, so I was like twenty five. You know what I'm saying? Like, so just it's just one of those things. But uh, that's all I have to really say in regards to that. What's your right. what's your question? All right, Ashley, you said when you was dating the the older guy. Yeah. You said you said something about like. It was your fault. Yeah. Why you would you say it's your fault if you're 14? Because like I still allowed him into my life. Hmm. When, then you at, at 14 are you still a child? Yes. Okay, so then I don't think it's fair for you to put all the responsibility on yourself. If at if all. That, if that's what you're saying, if you're saying if you're too young to be in a relationship at the age of 14 or because you're still a child, then it is up to the adult to be the adult and make a decision. Um, so don't put the blame on yourself. It's, yeah. I think 
this is like probably an unspoken truth and is i know wouldn't say one episode he dated a woman that was years older than him um i've done the same thing um but i you I, it is something you learn and grow through and mm-hmm. pass down to your children and this is where i'm saying let's recognize how to have those healthy relationships too right. i think like where i was saying with the children we tell them no don't do that you know or don't pass go do not collect two hundred dollars but we don't tell them why they can't collect that two hundred dollars or you know really just sit down and elaborate on or give them insight on what's really going on now whether or not they listen to us exactly that's on them I, I I have a problem with some with, with some of the things y'all said, and I know what y'all gonna say. Oh, JB, don't ever agree. Okay. All right, all right. <laughs> y'all said something about teaching a child, okay? And I, I agree with that to an extent, okay? Because yeah, I could teach my child, but my child ain't the problem. It's these other nappy headed kids out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, like I I can teach my child, you know, the things I want my child to learn. But you know what I mean? I know me when I was a young with a snapper, you know, back in the day, you know, you know, sling, you know, doing my thing. I didn't care about none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's about how the other parent teaches their child. You see what I'm saying? Like, okay, this girl that's this girl. Kind of crazy. I'm sorry. Huh? Go ahead. That's go kind ahead. of crazy to expect the next parent to teach something, and you not to take that that advance with your own child. You well, know? I, I think I think what JB is saying that the the lack of proper parenting from other parents is what hinders the people who who have the emotional maturity to deal with relationships. Like, forgive me well, if I'm putting words in your mouth, JB. It's funny, but half of us adults don't know how to have healthy relationships or have healthy communication. But say that again, though. It's kind of hard for us to pass down or expect the next parent to pass down that information when they clearly don't have it. So Mm -hmm. I, and then one thing about me is I will always take accountability um, for my, me and mine. You know, okay. so I'm I can't really worry or stress about what the next parent isn't doing or okay. is doing. So now that being said, now the question is what what age should a person be? You know, say so now now you, you know, now what is the what is the age where the person is fully okay, they're on their own. You're on your own, baby. I really think that that exactly what you with what you just said. It should be at a time when maybe they're in their own space, have gotten a chance to get to know themselves, um, don't have the the worries of the world on their shoulders, like finances, careers, and all that uh, other stuff. Like you, you make the law. What is the age? If you had to make the law, what is the age that you would make the law? Twenty eight. Ooh, I agree. (laughs) Everybody would be in jail. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, okay. But I think in a a mental stability, like you know, maybe getting it all to twenty four for real, for real. Because I know how much you know how big guys' hormones is at twenty. Oh my god, twenty five. I'd have been in jail by now. Let's 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 talk about let's talk about self control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you talking to a twenty three year old guy? You talking about self control when you see these that's women? That's what the issue is. We're, and that's where the issue in parenting is. We're yeah. not teaching our boys to withhold themselves. We're letting them express themselves and live their best life. And then our daughters have to sit back and uh uh uh. Okay, let's let's choose. Okay, let's talk about stigma. Let's choose mentality over over physicality. Huh? Okay, so do you, are you saying okay, girls and guys stigma? You know, stigma. No, not right? stigma. Reality. Because because it's, it's already it's, there's there's a recent study shown that black girls are held at a more a more mature standard than any any other race. 
Mm. I mean, like, I don't know about you, Jazz, but, like, for me, like, it was it was already expected for me to be a lady. It was already expected for me to cross my legs. It was already expected as opposed to other girls, to girls of other races. And it was, it was oh, if anything happened, it was my fault. What did you do to provoke him? It was always like that. But is that the guy's fault or is that yeah. the parent's fault? Oh, well. Because, because, okay, think about it like this. Let's think about it like this. Go ahead, okay. go ahead, Jazz. I'm just, I'm just, it can go either way. And I don't like pointing fingers, but oh, I'm it, pointing. Starts with, it starts with parenting. But as you get older, and especially into your teenage years, when you think you know everything, you know, it, you have to have a foundation, bro. A good, healthy foundation. No, you know, clear. That's all I'm saying. But why has yeah. no one said the media yet? Uh -huh. But why has no one said the media yet? Media? Yeah, the portrayals of women online, the music videos, where, where women are expected to be sexual, they're expected to be sexy, I and it's like... <laughs> I'm not against women being sexy on social no, media. No, of course not. I think whatever is Me your neither. forte, <laughs> go for it. Um, it's, you know, I know I have full control over whatever I look at and whatever I'm watching. So if I don't feel like looking at a big old ass, I'm not going to see one. Uh, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me just say something real quick. You know, just like with social media and, and with TV and everything, all this stuff is just like you are what you eat. You are yeah. what you look up. You are what you follow and everything. And there's always a choice. And as, and as I've always said since the beginning of this podcast, you don't have to be another statistic. You don't have to watch those beautiful women that you want to so-called be like. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. You see the people I follow on Snapchat and Instagram, they ain't popular rappers. JB will tell you, these rappers and the stuff that I follow, they're very low profile. I don't need to follow Roddy Rich. I don't follow him. I don't follow any of them people. And I don't care about them. You are what you consume on the mm -hmm. internet. Whatever right. you're seeing on the internet is what you choose to follow. That's how the algorithm works. I'm going to give an a idea, okay? All right. And it's kind of going into... Uh, Kim Kardashian doesn't exist to me, by the way. But go ahead. Okay. It's kind of an idea, okay? I feel like, okay, I feel like if a girl or and a guy gets together, right, and then one is underage, no matter what, you know, I feel like the parents should go to jail or have a fine. I wouldn't argue with you. I, 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 I really do. I really do. You know, you have I, no... Con I see some parents struggling with their teenagers. And hey. it's just... Like but you, but you say teenagers, plural. More yeah. than one kid, which is which is a lot to handle on on a parent, of course. Look, look, yeah, you better get some help or your ass going to jail. Okay. And then, <laughs> and then, uh, and then, some stipulations like, have you done parent counseling or things uh, like? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. Okay, let me going to jail <laughs> is hard. Okay. Yeah, I parent. parent <laughs> hey, 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 you, hey. Look, look, look. I think. Okay. okay. Going back into the R. Kelly thing, okay? All I was right. going to bring that up. I was going to bring that up. R. You Kelly, go. Okay, yeah, I blame R. Kelly for doing what he's doing. But I blame the parents, too. And I feel like just as well as R. Kelly is getting in trouble, those parents who's flying those girls out to him, who's letting these girls do what they do, oh, I can't control my girl. Yeah, I can't control my baby. You know what I'm saying? You know, she doing, they got, they buying concert tickets in the front way, front row. He pulling them up, you know what I'm saying? And, oh, she's talented. She can, he can come to my back dressing room. I think the parents should be liable. You know what I mean? I think the parents should be liable of being stupid, you know? Just, and, 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 um, and that's just how I feel, you know? And, and, and what y'all think? Y'all think, you know, hold, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, where you going to go, Jazz? No, go ahead. <laughs> so I was when when I was researching this topic, I was listening to a Steve Harvey video. I shouldn't have done that, but this mother was asking. 
<laughs> well, you know, he's, he's super old school. Like, he's our grandparents and our grandparents. But sometimes we need to listen to that wisdom. Sometimes. Grain of salt. Well, um, he was saying that his mother was asking for advice. And she was like, I don't know how to say tell my daughter no. And he was like, well, what's wrong with because I said so? Sometimes I think that parents, I was going to say we, I'm not a parent. But may, maybe sometimes parents just need to, to solidify I'm doing this for your safety. Well, you hate me. Okay, because I said so then. You'll you hate me, hate me for these next two years, but in five years, you're going to thank me. Hmm. That's real shit, because that's how I grew up. I grew up with the, because I said so when I asked too many questions. So let's go ahead and get into our final thoughts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yeah, 25, 30 minutes. We, we're on time. So uh, we're going to get into our final thoughts and going to end off with the age that we think um that it should be um all right for them to consent for themselves so starting with the aunt of dragons 24 24 all right all right any final comments outside of that um you're legally able to drink at 21 but everyone was drinking at 18 right but then when you when you start drinking at 21 it's not fun it's not fun it's just like it's a chore. So you, you need that time period for, because everyone's going to find a way to go in and sleep around with Tom, Dick, Sue, whatever. But by the time it's legal, it'll be like, ah, it's whatever. That's it. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go with JB. Final thoughts and age. I don't know, man. <clears throat> Now we're having this conversation, I, I, I'm starting to change my answer. I said in the beginning, uh, what did I say, 25? But yeah, yep. I, might, I might change that answer. I might change that answer to, I'm going to change it to 16. Okay. With parents' right. consent. Okay. All right. Um, what about you, Jazz? I'm going to say when for consent, we'll say 24 as well. Um, only because I feel like there's this a light bulb that goes off and everything starts to make sense. Um, and my last thought is let's just nurturing uh, being our, our intuition. Um, so that way, when we do choose our partner in crime or whatnot, uh, you choose wisely. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I have to kind of agree with that age. I think like 24, 25 is, you know what I'm saying? Even as young as 23, I would be okay with, you know, just because, you know, like for me, it was a big thing about, you know, going to school, finishing college. I got multiple degrees by that age. You know, I'm starting to figure my life out. Then it's starting to, you know. Why don't I find a partner to try to figure out my life with around that time? That's I'm, I'm, that I'm, time. I'm okay. <laughs> and, 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 and really know yourself. Go ahead, JB. What's the change? Final answer yeah. now. Um, final answer. I ain't gonna change no more. I'm gonna say 21. Okay. Why I thought about 21. I thought about 21 too. But go ahead. Because you know, 21 is uh, around when they get into college. You know, what I'm saying, and, and they consider it grown. You really can't control them. After. You, you not control them, but you can't. You know, 25 is kind of up there. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I can't, you know, when you was 21, you can't tell me, oh, I'm dating. I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's just what's going to happen, you know. So I think 18, 19, 20 is a good age. And they out of high school. So 16 is kind of young. And I just don't want to see a 30-year-old or a 40-year-old with a 16-year-old. Right. Uh, unfortunately, it's legal in here in North Carolina, so. All right, all right. Well, good segment, you guys. Definitely enjoyed it. We had some, we had multiple conversations uh, within this topic, and it was definitely but, awesome. But, but for my daughter, for my daughter, <laughs> it's fifty. Just get that <laughs> shit straight. It is never. It is fifty. Look, for my daughter, that shit ain't never happening. I'm the pop. Period. Wait, bro, our daddy's cheating on us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, We're in so done. <laughs> with that being said, 
Never. It's Everyday Heroes. All right. We appreciate everybody for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the show. This is Real Name Winton, JB Written, Aunt of Dragons and Jazz, the Queen Lioness, and we are out.